Reki konjak se li nosu šarabena. Reki konjak se li nosu šarabena. Ha, 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 šarabena. Voli vadi do tri konja, pa se hani. Voli vadi do tri konja, pa se hani. A, 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 pa se hani. Biri begir, biri katr, biri da. Biri begir, biri katr, biri da. A, 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 biri da. Begir katr se ni nosu, a bena. Begir katr se ni nosu, a bena. A, 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 a bena. The first thing that hits you as you enter Macedonia is the variety of people. As well as Macedonians, you can't walk far without coming across Turks, Albanians, Serbs and Romas. It follows then that Macedonia hosts a few different religions, Christianity, Islam and Judaism. Mitya Andreev is the pastor of the Evangelical Church here in Macedonia. As the church's name suggests, its aim is to spread the good news of Jesus Christ throughout the country. But before the present state of the Evangelical Church, there was something of a revival in Macedonia. Prison is the last place you would expect to find freedom. So how is it possible that a man who was sent to prison came back setting people free. Miss Ellen Stone was an American missionary in Macedonia in the 1900s. She is best remembered for being captured by revolutionaries in 1901, but was later released. She was the kind of woman who made a deal with the revolutionaries. She would listen to extracts from Karl Marx if they would listen to her reading passages from the Bible. Miss Stone also worked in connection with the mission station in Thessalonica. Thessalonica is mentioned a lot in the New Testament and still exists. The mission did some work in a prison in Thessalonica. They attended to the prisoners, providing food and clothes, and no doubt telling them about Jesus Christ. One of the criminals there heard about Jesus and accepted him as his saviour. When he was released from the prison, he went back to his home in Monospitovo. There, he talked with anyone he met about his newfound freedom. Nada is Mircha's wife. Her grandfather was one of the men that this prisoner spoke to and whom received the gospel of Jesus Christ. My grandfather was, uh, his name was Ilya Tsekov. He was very known as a uh, traveling evangelist. He would go to every Saturday in Strumica, but on the way to Strumica he will stop in every village and talk with the people. And everybody from my village told me that he will get up earlier from mm -hmm. others to go in Strumica, finish everything, but he will come the last from the village because he will stop everywhere to witness. Through him, more people came to know Jesus, and so started a revival wave that completely changed the face of the church in Macedonia. 
The Republic of Macedonia is a country bordered by Serbia and Kosovo to the north, Bulgaria to the east, Greece to the south, and Albania to the west. The capital is Skopje, a bright, energetic city full of rich history stretching from the Ottoman Empire to Mother Teresa. Macedonia is rich in agricultural produce. In the countryside, the people are mostly farmers. Fruit and vegetables are lush and ripe and in abundance. Across this breathtaking landscape are spotted many little villages and towns. One in particular is Monospitovo. This was the prisoner's hometown. Now there is an evangelical church here. Pastor Tony had a hard time getting the church started. The town came down very hard on them during the construction of the church building. But God opened the doors. Pastor Tony took us to a tomato field. The produce from this field is sold to support the church here. Uh, this project we start uh, six, uh, actually ten months ago. Mm -hmm. One brother from the United States, he is actually Macedonian, but he invests to help to the church. This too was something that was hard to get started. But Tony knew his vision was from God, and so he waited. And when God's time came, he knew. I pray for ten years for that kind. Ten years? Yes. Was it ever discouraging, waiting all that time? Uh, yes, I, I have planned, but uh, I, I uh, spread idea with many brothers from United States, Holland, German, Switzerland. But this brother ca came just alone. We met each other for five minutes and he decided to come to visit us when he came in Strumica. He felt touched that God uh, told him, you will work here in Strumica. And we start. Like these tomatoes, the seed that was planted in Monospitovo so long ago grew and grew, the vision ripening until it produced fruit that fed not physically, but more importantly, spiritually. It was one man from Monospitovo, yeah. the place where you went and see the, all the plastic <laughs> houses, green houses. So he was from there and he started to uh, he said to all of his friends from the village and they, that's how the church started in Monospito. And later he started to share with other friends from other villages. So he came to our village, Koleshino, and he started to share with my grandfather, with his brother. Uh, they were in that time uh, also people who wanted to believe in God. Nada's grandfather was an important figure in the Orthodox Church. He was truly seeking God, and when he found Jesus, he walked from village to village, preaching the gospel and witnessing to everyone he met. This is Nada's mother. As a little girl, she was put in prison along with her family during communist rule. While she was there, she played with other children, some who were Turkish. It was there she learnt this song, a mix of Turkish and Macedonian. While she was there in prison, begging for food with the other children, she made a big decision. She decided she would not go after riches or money, but find true treasure and eternity in Jesus Christ. Again, someone touched by God while in captivity. And it is this woman's daughter, Nada, who married Mircea, a man called to preach Jesus. Mircea's walk of life was drastically changed when he got sick as a young man, his was a path destined for the army, but God used illness in his life to change his walk. He was a strong youth whose sole desire was to be a soldier, but now his energy and passion is focused only on preaching the word of God and serving the communities in Macedonia. Now he is on a new path. The church started here uh, as a home group, this local church, and then uh, that was... Uh, in the uh, latest 80s and uh, then after that uh, 
we become uh, together with uh, another home group from Stip, another town in the eastern part of Macedonia. And uh, that was the beginning of the evangelical church in Macedonia. And, and we had the same vision. Our vision was to establish more churches around Macedonia. And since then we are doing this. From one man who chose to walk with Jesus, two generations before Mircea, came the freedom of salvation to all Macedonia. But of course we need mature people who will stand for God and uh, uh, people who are ready to, to give everything. There is still work to be done and obstacles to overcome. One of the biggest obstacles is religion. Because, you know, Macedonia was Christian 2,000 years, even before Christ. So that's what they believe. They are Christians now. It's, it's part of their ethnicity. Mm -hmm. We're Macedonians, so we're Christians, we're Orthodox, that's it. The, the knowledge about Christ is here, nothing okay. more. Okay. What I would really, really want to see in Macedonia is that people will go out of their religious life and have a real uh, relationship with, with, the, with God, with Jesus. Jesus came to set the prisoners free. All form of prisoner.